I'm here at Branzac in the Emerald 2. So what has gone wrong my friends? Well, the P10 has melted through its fuel tank. I'm trying to introduce Talbot Senior as the Irish Tiff Nadell. Now then YouTube, welcome to Brands Hatch. Two track videos in a short space of time. How lucky we both are, right? I'm here at Brands Hatch in the Emardu. Emardu. Which apparently means shit in France. Why they didn't call it MR2 in France, eh? A fact today from now on. No, I'm not going to do that, but yeah. Apparently MR2 in French is, uh, is shit. So there you go, that's something for you to take home. So I'm here in the MR2, I've done two sessions already. I've been to Brands Hatch once before in my life when I had the Integra B series. In my infancy of track driving, I, uh, I came round here with Pete. <laughs> It was just a lot of fun really, I just wanted to drive Brands Hatch because I played it on games before so I weren't really, you know, taking it. It was about seven or eight years ago anyway, but I'm racing here this weekend so I thought it would be best to do a track day just to refresh my memory. I've played this quite a lot on, on GT Sport, I, I, I don't get to play it anymore unfortunately, but I used to play a lot of GT Sport with the steering wheel and obviously Brands Hatch features on that quite regularly. So I, I thought I just about knew the lines and to be fair I've not, I've not been doing too badly so I'm having a good time the car is on its tires that I raced on and did track days on last year the, the good ones are behind me I'm saving them for the race um, but the pace has been all right to be honest I'm just trying to filter out how I uh, how I want to have the car set up the weather it's, it's really hot today and it's gonna be like that tomorrow as well apparently so it's probably gonna be a case of get comfortable get the roll bar where I want it and stuff like that and then hopefully when we go out for that practice session at the weekend I'll just be able to just go out and go flat out and hopefully get myself in that top half of the grid if not the top 10 that'd be lovely now there is actually another MR2 racer here today I thought we might see some and there's another MR2 guy and it's one of the fastest guys in the championship so second session I went out and I've just come out of the pits and he come past me and I, I tried my hardest to keep up with him uh, on the cold brakes and tyres, race driver excuse, but um, luckily he got into some traffic and I was able to try and follow him for a few laps just to try and work out where he was going and stuff and you know, he was he was getting a bit in front of me so there's, there's definitely a bit of work to do if we want to be in that top, top, top half but um, yeah, that was, that was really a lot of fun. Now, one of the more disappointing things about today is my GoPros, um, for both sessions I've come in and the GoPro's been off I'm not sure why that is. Is it a battery? Is it just getting too hot? Is it getting shook about? I don't know. Um, I put a fresh battery in for the second session. It was a fresh battery for the first session and yeah, it's just um, it's died. So hopefully I can get some, some content today. Now, because it's a track day and not a race, we'll do the cameras slightly differently. Instead of having a rear cam, I'm going to use a foot cam. Eh? Use the foot cam. Bring back the foot cam, they said. I was pretty good I didn't use the foot cam at Cadwell Park in the M3 because, you know, I'm starting to use my left foot quite a lot more and I think it looks quite cool, which is obviously the main reason for doing it. So, yeah, just here we're doing first corner is, is on the left foot and then the middle corner, Graham Hill, is it? Is it Graham Hill, Bend? Maybe. I do loosely know the track corner names just from... Just from Gran Turismo and stuff, but yeah, we're here at Brands Hatch anyway. Kev's here, and I'm with Kev's dad as well, who's got the Primera, and Kev's got the DC5. But yeah, this video is all about getting the MR2 feeling right, getting me confident at Brands Hatch, and we're on the indie circuit, of course. So, I set myself a little goal straight away to try and get under a minute. The lap record around here is 57 seconds for the MR2s, and obviously I'm not timing myself, but um, I think... I think I'm well within the minute, so I'm not quite at the 57, 
Um, but I reckon Sean, the other MR2 driver, he's got to be well up towards that 57, if not beat. I think the lap record might go this weekend. I don't think it'll be me that takes it, but I can see someone else, the guy over there, I can see him perhaps taking a lap record around here this weekend. But anyway, that's enough for the intro. So let's cut into some track time. We'll have a bit of a paddock walk later on if you want, and we'll look at some action on track. There's a red flag at the minute, that's why I'm just doing this. Someone's just gone off at, uh, at Paddock Hill Bend into the gravel. Luckily, they didn't roll over, but yeah, they went off. Um, so they're just recovering the car now. I'm just going to put some more air in my tyres, because I think I might have... Um, I've, I've put the normal, what I normally put in them, but they're, they're not getting up to temperature, believe it or not. And I did, did 22 laps on my first session, so... You know, I did plenty of time. So just going to try a bit more air in, see how it feels. Obviously, them tyres are old anyway, so I'm not expecting the best out of them. But the most difficult part of the track for me at the minute, you can see it from here. The, the paddock's quite nice for that. It's this corner here, which is kind of the second to last one. I need to get fast round there. I need to get my confidence up and be quick round there. And then everywhere else, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. With Paddock's Hill is a right corner. It's real nice. Um... And it's, it flows, flows really, the track in general flows really well. I'm, I'm surprised I've not been back here um, since, like I say, I went, I came once and it was about seven or eight years ago in the DC2 and I just started track driving and, you know, did it for a, for a bit of fun. Obviously, levelled up a bit now and, uh, yeah, really enjoying myself. And the MR2 is taking some prisoners, of course it is. There's a 1M over there, we'll have a bit of a pit walk, but it's, you might be able to tell it's a bit hot, so I'm going to get out of this car, go and chill out a little bit, and then I'll bring you some track action in the MR2. It's lunch time. I will have a look, quick look around the pits. I managed to get 74 laps in this morning, which might sound like a lot, but it is the smaller circuit. We're lapping under a minute where we can. So, you know, still a decent amount of track time. There's not been that many stoppages, but just have a peek in this garage. You notice anything? 
So we've got one P10 jacked up on the right and then if we just do a bit of exposure hacks, is it going to let me? So there's a DC5 also jacked up. So what has gone wrong my friends? Well, the P10 has melted through its fuel tank and caused a leak. It's a plastic fuel tank and the exhaust's even been rubbing or touching it and yeah, it's got a fuel leak so we're going to try and patch that up with something and Kevin, obviously this is Kevin's dad you've seen this before right? I think you've seen this before the Accord Type R and the man, the Irish Tiff Nadell over there oh, looking busy I'm trying to introduce Talbot Senior as the Irish Tiff Nadell Tiff Nadell. Yeah. You're not, you're not the first person to have said that. You do, you, you do look a bit like Tiff Nadell. Fuck off. You do. You do. You do. Oh. In his younger, more beautiful years. Obviously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 my house, not his. <laughs> <laughs> and Kevin, his exhaust's cracked. Which is not very good. So yeah, the morning for these two has not been so grand. You reckon you've done 20 laps, Kev, maybe? Probably, yeah. About 20 laps, maybe? maybe a bit more. Yeah, the MR2, she's, uh, she's good. Now, I have been black flagged twice now. I got, yeah, I got another talking to at the end of the pit straight when I went out. Just about general driving standards. He said, is anyone else driving this car? I said, no, just me. And he said, well, let your mates know when they're driving it just to calm down a bit. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> and then he said, yeah, he well? said, hang on, I need to tell you this. No, no, hang on, hang on, something. Sorry. Let me just tell you. He said, this is a track day, slow is fast. <laughs> Big brain time. Big brain time. <laughs> Where's your hammer? So that's Kev's, what's broken, that's what he's, he's putting a decal on, which is a flexi. But the cat that was on has no flexi. Kevin, is this a problem? Clearly, the or is proof it? is in the pudding. What's the proof? What does it say? It's fucked. Because huh? it doesn't do flexibles. Hmm. So when you're doing mad fucking whops, hmm. I'll just leave the. I might leave that in there. Hmm. What are you putting on there, Kev? Bro, does, does your t shirt match your cat? No. Fucking does. Oh. <laughs> so we do actually have something to fix on the MR2. And it involves some super glue. So the only issue I'm having is when I'm hitting curbs, my interior mirror, it keeps dropping in. As you know, it was doing it at the race last time, and I don't want it doing it at the race again this time. So, what are we going to do? Well, I did this on my DC2 before and it worked quite well. Basically, got it into a nice position. Oh, it might be a bit trickier on here, because the ball. Please focus on the ball. You can do it. You can do it. Basically, I'm going to super glue around this and hope for the best. Right, that's done just about. It's actually double jointed this. There's two balls, which... What? Might explain why it's going all over the shop, hopefully a bit of glue. What? <sighs> it was a bit hard to get the glue in, but I might obviously change to just having one on the on this, but it might be quite hard to attach. It's, it's real snug. Alright, we'll do a little pit lane walk anyway. There's some nice cars are that way, but I want to try and go and get some water. So we're going to be walking to the left. Loads of these things again, look, that one's got a spoiler down below. Nice one M. Fair few Clio's and Megans, as you'd expect. This is a little straight look, you're right close to the track here. There's a Honda S2000 over there with a, a blue front, almost spoon spec, but obviously not quite. There's an M2 there with some gold wheels and Nürburgring wing sticker on it. Look fast. And a Clio with the turbos. Wing the turbo wings. E36. Uh, Always giving it a tickle. That Evo, saw him swap ends, that was quite funny. 
well, it's not funny for him, but looked interesting. This Porsche is nice, so it's an M5 here as well. So we'll have a, a quick look with some interesting paint on the M5. I don't know what's going on there, but this, yeah, coming behind this on track, very nice. <laughs> That's a bit crazy Kevlar shit all over it. Like caterings and stuff. A man sleeping on a trailer. And this is a this is a track obsession day, so they all they have their own Cleos floating about. And it's some track obsession branded free water, which I'm gonna go and try and get now. So bear with me. Ooh, I'm marshalling them again. You don't see that every day. This day as well, got taste. Driver fuel apparently. I'll just give you a quick second of that because we all know what everyone thinks about that. Don't have to say too much. I know quite a few track day organisers are giving water away now and it's a very good idea because you know, no one wants to go to shop up there and spend £2.50 whatever on a bottle of water. So if they can just buy a load of these from Kirkland or something, you know, it's cheap and it water. Ooh, McGann, old boy on the reg. Right, I'm going to have a few sups of this and then we'll have a quick poke at what's at the other side of the garage. Alright, the driver fuel has been consumed. So we'll carry on our tour. A couple of compacts in here. So there's a transit here with a body kit on, which is not something you see every day. Like an M Sport one or something, I guess. What's the best car in the pits? Mm, maybe that. The fancy transit. No, oh, the park there, I've not seen him on track. This is the other MR2, which definitely did drive a good bit faster than me. <laughs> had a real hard time trying to keep up with it. The C36 is real nice. I'm pretty sure I've seen this at the Nürburgring before. Yeah, tasty. And there's an M3 there, M2, a couple of M2s, Lotus, EP3. Um, there was some real fast, oh there's one there. There's, there's a real fast Fiesta with the rapid fit livery. Yeah, it's over there. A few Fiestas and Clios and stuff, but yeah, it was real fast there. I, don't, I think it was among a time where my GoPro wasn't working, so I don't think I've got it on camera, but I had a real good battle with it, quite even, the cars, over a lap. But anyway, that's enough for lunchtime, that's enough of all the cars. You've seen everything, everything is lovely, it's going well. Hopefully no more black flags, because apparently I'm getting simbined for the next black flag. And you know, I never normally have an issue with stuff like that, this is very rare that I get black flagged. But today it's been quite common. So we'll try and avoid getting told off because they're going to put me on the naughty step next, they said. And I don't fancy that.
बनाए 